Welcome to the Cardboard Cave Podcast. The number one show in Puerto Rico about trading card games. Thanks for Alter Sleeves for sponsoring our show. Use our affiliate link or code Cardboard Cave for 5% off your order and spice up your commander. Don't forget to follow us on our social media or listen to us in all major audio platforms. Thanks for being part of our community and please like, share, and comment below. Plus enjoy the live show. up guys so we're gonna be doing the quick uh, this is going to be a quickie um because if you guys remember uh we were playing draft and then um <laughs> i will be clipping the last stream because it was too funny uh so it last stream last stream that was for today so that's why i didn't announce it it's just gonna be a quick a quick if we win the if we win the next games then awesome if by any chance we don't all just play one um at least two games of brawl and from there we'll we'll end the stream um i do see here that we have gained a uh, follower we're at 1318 uh, thank you for the follow and everybody that's joining us tonight thank you very much like i mentioned this is going to be very quickly and um i do want to say that if we do hit um this week uh, well not this week because this week is already if by any chance if by the 31st of january i'm gonna make a tiktok or i'm gonna clip this as well if by the 31st of january we do hit 1400 followers i will do a giveaway and i'm gonna be giving away a funko pop uh i have one here I, I didn't show it, but I, I did spoke about it um, uh, while in the last stream. So if we hit 1,400, we're going to be giving away this Funko Pop to a lucky follower. So we will be doing a video with it. I'm going to be clipping this as well. But if we hit 1,400 followers, we will be doing a... Um, TikTok video to give you the rules on how you can win this Hatsune Miku Hot Topic Metallic Exclusive. I do need to warn you, the box is dinged up. Um, it has, the coloring is kind of off. It's because this pop has been with me since, I don't know if this says the year somewhere. to see but this is this is an this is i know that this is an old uh, an old um funko pop but i just want to you guys you know the figure is 100 fine it has col this coloration inside due to the sun the box has this coloration as well due to the sun but and the box is not 100 percent uh good just to let you guys know i just want you guys to know because uh I I just, you know, I want to, I will explain this as well in the TikTok, but, oh my God, uh, I, <laughs> my wife just commented, um, she's, she's with my son right now and, uh, as he, she's putting my son to sleep and I love you. I love you guys as well. You guys are my everything. If you guys, if you guys know of uh, everybody that has been following Cardboard Cave and have watched the podcast and everything, uh, I do this because of my family and because I love it. I love making content and um, I love the platform that me and my and my friends have done here with Cardboard Cave, and that's why we want to grow. So, just to let you guys know once more, once more, 1,400 followers, and we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, raffle the Hatsune Miku uh, Hot Topic exclusive rules 
will be available when the uh, when we reach the goal. I will be making a clip of this and as well I will be making a, a video at least saying uh, talking about the uh, giveaway so and I will do a video like that you guys can see the Funko because I want to make sure that everybody knows that the Funko Pop is pretty old and when we reach 1500 I will be making another one and what I'll do is that when we reach 1500 I'll give away uh, a simple magic product like a card or something and as well I'll be giving away another another one I have a couple of Funkos that I I really don't need in my collection so they're pretty cool Funko Pops I do have one that probably everybody might want so let's go ahead and um, let's make this happen so let's go ahead and see if we can win this draft we need one two three we need four more wins if we do get these four wins we will um be able to win um 950 gems so yeah and whoever's watching us hey go ahead and um share the live if you guys love magic the gathering and hanging out with me go ahead and share the live if you guys have any ideas of how we can better the content that would be amazing as well and i hope i hope that this week we can have something here in the background i hope i hope i really do hope that we can we can get something going i do have a wall scroll that i want to bring here but it's not going to be in this background this background i want to add like a poster or something okay guys so we have this hand this hand is horrible we only have two lands and um it's just bad Mulligan. Uh, we still have two lands here but nope we can't keep this Mulligan again there we go okay what are oh, we returning we're returning we have to return two cards we'll return the gnome spend this mana to cast time search or... okay we're gonna return the gnome and spelunkin because uh the good thing is that we can play this at least turn two i don't know if we're going first though oh and i'm, I'm gonna be posting some funny clips some funny clips from from the past stream it's too funny. I, I just love the fact that my son started grabbing the microphone. It was like, no. <laughs> Man, I, I, I enjoy it. I wish that if he was a little older. We're going to draw this. So, oh, it's only graveyard. Okay, let's keep that. that uh, I do hope that my son I'm not gonna obligate him to you know <clears throat> to be a content creator that's something that I think that uh, that oh um, so I think that being a content creator is something that one has to like grow on it or 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 it I'm not gonna like obligate him to be a content creator. If he appears in the live stream, that's just because I I really do love when he appears in live streams. I've been always thinking for for him to appear in in a podcast very randomly. But the thing is that like we do the podcast so late, it's, sometimes we can't we can't make it happen. So. That there, or we're gonna drop this. I'm super happy. If you guys are joining in the stream, thank you very much for joining in, and don't forget to share it as well. We will be <clears throat> announcing a giveaway when we reach goal, so I will be doing the TikTok probably tomorrow. But I am so happy and glad for everybody that, that's been joining us and being part of this of this journey.
you know the sad part is that I would prefer to do this and play him because this is just for the land cycling. It would have been awesome that we could have done this, uh, but hey, it is what it is. We can't. We can't have everything like. Yo, I love this part. You know, I, I did got one foil, and I still don't know where I put it. I still don't know where I put it. That's the sad part, but I don't know where I put it. That foil poison dart frog. And the sad part is that I didn't sell it when it was very expensive. Now it's like, I think it's like 50 cents foil. But I remember the, the hype the hype for the card this is a powerful card it's a two drop that provides you mana and then if you can give it death touch come on who, who does not love that who does not love that okay so we got three green that's not that bad we can use mountain cycling so i'm keeping the hand have um, discovered that's why I'm a little bit calm. I'm very calm. I will need to discard a card. Yeah, let's discard the I can't believe that the that the discover gave us a path pathfinding axe drop. <clears throat> I like the sound that it makes when when you play it. There's a high chance that he will attack with the Brood Rage Michael. Oh, I have seen this card. So I, I think it's that at the beginning of it, if you descend this turn, you may pay one life if you do return. Yeah, I like the card because it gives us a certain versatility. Okay, so I'm not going to be receiving a lot of damage, so I'm going to go ahead and Hey everybody that's joining the stream, how are you guys doing today or tonight, wherever you're located? I'm here from Puerto Rico, so what are you guys up to, you guys, uh, besides watching the stream? <laughs> besides watching the stream, what are you guys doing? Are you watching a uh, TV series, a movie, hanging out? I've been drawing forests. Please come on. I 
think the poison dart frog was better, but we have to kind of I think we're fine in that in that end, so let's see what happens. Oh, we got our own frog. Ah right, but we don't have um we have to do this. Basic one also needs I think. We need we need the mountain. Blunken is such an amazing card. I don't think that it's been played in standard. Probably, probably I'm mistaken. But if you guys know if it's playing in standard, tell me in the chat. But this card is just bonkers. I just love it. This equipment I added it. Wow, it's hard, but I just like it. This is the card. If you guys, in limited, this is the card. And I think that if, if, if this card as well should be used in Commander. In specific decks though, not in every deck, but in specific decks, I should say that it that it's, should be used. Ah, oh, sacrifice creature. The end effect is a world effect. Then has to discover four. It's good because then we can use this card. Um, we, we do have it up. Like literally. We do have the map. Okay, so first thing first, we're gonna equip this to our friend. why I did it is because we got value out of the discover so we have a discover four plus we can then do a full a full-fledged attack to our opponent so that means that we take we take a, a big chunk of, uh, of life plus the fact that we got dino bomb it doesn't matter that much because they can't block so
two here at least. He still has to block a four two, a four three, and a one one. And this one one will have death touch because I do have the available mana for it. Okay. There's going to be a trade here, but that's fine. I think he's trying to, to see how he can... The thing is, he's got five, five or less, and we're going to get the... And he, the thing is that he knows. There's, there's a card there. Okay, so... Probably might have removal for the bone horde for the bone horde dinosaur. It all depends. If it does not have removal, this game is ours. But obviously he has removal. And it's just a duck factor for now. The thing is that he will not attack. Me. That's one thing that he will do. supposed to put it in the hand oh god why it would have been an additional body but it's fine he has a 1-1 one, one and a 4-5 that 4-5 is not going to attack. and if he attacks I, I don't know really because I do have the poison dart about having the glow cap lantern is that we will know if we can abuse the seeker of sunlight that's the whole this is this is going to be the card right now we have five six seven eight nine ten mana this costs three mana if we get at least one more land we will be fine. even though we do have it there so the one that's gonna attack is the hover stone filter that's an obvious no. I'm gonna be getting hit for two damage for quite a while. Or not. So I'm gonna say he has seven cards in the deck. I have it.
down to six cards. Let's see what we have left. We only have, we only have lands and two big creatures. There we go, we have one. The rest are lands, so we might lose this game. We will totally lose this game. The only thing that will save us is the fact... One, two, three, four, five, six, and we have five features. Thank you very much for for the share. You are amazing. No blocks, so yeah. He's like me. I think this person has um, only lands. I do have features. Ah, oh, sad. This sucks. Bad part is that we don't have the gnome. If we would have had the gnome, that would have been great. <clears throat> well, let's go ahead. Let's, let's go bonkers. Let's remove all the lands. We're gonna go full. Uh, I didn't do anything. Uh... Okay, let's go ahead attack. It's either attack or or do nothing. The horde appearing to walk. Oh, let me just say, good game. This was an amazing journey, guys. Uh, at least we did better than the other drafts that we've been. Other drafts we've been like, we didn't even win one. But knowing how this emblem works. It gives me more ideas of how to to abuse it. Good thing is, look at this. We have 450 gems and we only wasted, I think it was like 5,000? 5,000. So we can actually play this again if we want it, if we want to. Let's open all three packs. I'm gonna open one more time. <clears throat> Let's see. This card, yeah, this card is dope. Let's see what we've got here. This is a good removal. Let's see what's in the store. <clears throat> well, they're already, the pre-orders for Emergency Karloff Manor are up. These are the lands that I want, yo. Yes, that's what I want. I wish, I wish I could get these lands, the pixel lands. They look amazing. Okay, let's see what's on the deals side. Necroplutons, these are just um, these card styles, not the card. Okay. <clears throat> 
as promised so we're gonna we finished our uh the draft that's the continuation of preview of this previous stream like i mentioned we will have these available on our youtube channel so follow us in, on youtube we're gonna play at least um two games of brawl and from there it will be see you later sayonara and i love you guys really thank you very much for always joining our streams we stream every uh twice a week we have our podcast every wednesday if we do change the date we will keep you updated and every um friday if i choose to not stream on friday i stream on thursday or mondays depending depending on my plans of the week so yeah let's see this is not a bad hand we can actually turn one as per sentinel the bad part is that we might not draw lands. That's the that's the bad part. I'm keeping it just for for funsies. There might be a chance that we can actually win the game. But hey, there's another chance that we might not win the game. It happens a lot. <laughs> so we're playing against Al. Act not Thos, the deepest betrayal. We're just waiting for our opponent to. There we go. So we're gonna keep. Yeah, let's keep. What part of Temple Guard? If we would have had the, even though this reaches up to a level 100, but it's been such a long time that I made it up to here. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm super sad that I only played S for Sentinel and they gave up. I don't like when people do that. I don't understand why. I wish I could play other music. I've seen people play like Hatsune Miku and whatnot, but I don't want to get like flagged. Mm, I like this. This, this. this is not a bad hand. Overgrown tomb, the one that I needed. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I needed, um, that it's green and black play land or war else like that i could go ahead and start doing crazy stuff
This is the best that I can do. Really. That's why I'm saying a, a misplay can cost you the game. And that is what this happened. Okay guys, uh, one more game, and I'm gonna say my goodbye, Jesus, I'm so mad, so, so mad, uh, I'm so, I'm so mad because of the misplay, because if we would have played it differently, we would have had more cards in the game, it would have been, Nanowar elves to the uh, to the to the to the one that discounts the enchantment. This is something that we can play. Get Temple Garden. Should we get Temple Garden? No, we're, we're gonna get an, um, some, another color. Sacred Foundry? No, because we already have red. So let's get Gauntlet right? Oh, that's... Oh, and then you discard a creature, you get a zombie. That's really dope. That's really cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's really nice. leaves your graveyard. Oh, okay. okay. No. I understand now. I understand. Okay. So, let's see. What should we do? Should we play... Emiria. We should play. Oh. 
something new. Let's slow this down. We're gonna slow it down. So just in case this is um Goshen Tai Taxes. Even though there's a lot of cards missing, um, but it's technically speaking a tax deck. that our opponent is trying to do more things but Amiri is in game. Oh it was me. Oh thank you. why I play Sanctum of All is because of its ability. It does not count with Emiria, so that means that I can put things and that's not what I... Oh my god. This is why I, I don't... This is why I don't like playing... Uh, this reasons why I don't like playing um, uh, the game. People leave and then you don't know what's going to be the outcome. Jesus. I want to. Oh, man. See, it's no fair, man. No fair. It sucks. <laughs> but we will be closing out the stream um, tonight. So, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. Um, this is the second we streamed two twice today, um, but I'm super ecstatic about it, and I'm super ecstatic about it, and uh, I'm really happy that we are we are uh, growing little by little. And thank you for everybody that's joining uh, joining the stream and um, we will see you guys in the next one uh, the next stream will be on Wednesday at 9 p.m. and as well for everybody that's returning uh, I'm gonna be making a TikTok explaining that if we do reach 1400 followers on TikTok we will be giving away this Hatsune Miku Hot Topic exclusive. It's uh, I, the exclusivity is because it's metallic. I think it's that her hair is metallic. I really don't know. I know that I got this a long time ago. So if you guys, when we reach 1400, we will be giving out the rules for this Funko Pop um, giveaway. We will be shipping it. If you are international, then uh, if you're not from the United States, and international shipping we will talk to you like that you can still receive your Funko so just uh, pay attention when we reach 1400 we're gonna do the giveaway and then there will be another giveaway when we reach 1500 so yeah so if we do reach 1500 there's gonna be another giveaway we're gonna be giving away at least a card to one lucky uh, follower and um, I think we're, I think depending on, you know what, 
well, I'll, I'll think about it. I think when we reach 1500, I'll give away a card to a lucky to a lucky follower, and um, and then uh, we'll give away. Uh, you know what? We'll give away two cards, two cards to two followers when we hit, when we hit 15k. Uh, not 15k, my bad. <laughs> 1500. <laughs> Okay, guys, so thank you for everybody that's joining us tonight. Uh, remember to follow us on our TikTok. We do TikToks basically every day. I know that we have not posted the previews of today, but we will be posting them uh, later on before, before tonight. So follow us on TikTok for more amazing content and as well for our live streams. Thank you very much, guys, for everything that you have done here in the Cardboard Cave. And we will see you this upcoming uh, Wednesday at 9 p.m. that we're going to talk about more previews of murder at Karloff Manor. So we will go ahead and see you guys in the next one.